And then you, if you start, and this is why this is healthy and biblical and true, and Jesus does this plenty, but also he on purpose hides in obscurity so, so much. And you'll see here our human nature, we love this side. And we don't mean to, but we gravitate naturally by human nature and flesh to, to vision side. I always want to know what's coming. What's in it for me? Where's the reward? Where? And a lot of times he'll hide all that to see what you're really about and deepen you. And, and if you don't know that about him, I've seen it so much with so many for so many years. Soon as vision gets blurry, which God does, people let go of restraint. And then they go grabbing for another something. And, the, and what happens is they'll just repeat the cycle. And then you go, what happened to so-and-so? I don't know. They just kept letting go of restraint. And they end up going nowhere. I'm telling you, I've seen this so many times. I just, I think, I was telling Judah this other day, I think far too often we just think God, you hear so much of God's so good. He's the author and finisher. And he is. Those, those verses are in there. But he ain't going to finish if you let go of restraint. He can only finish what you adhere and stay faithful to. You know what I mean? And so I just think a lot of times we think destiny is just going to happen and fall on our laps. And it's, the Bible says actually quite the opposite. It says many are called, few are chosen. Many go the way of the broad path, few find the narrow one. Yes. Like the odds in the Bible don't line up with how we preach quite often. A lot of us just think we're going to fulfill the will of God because we show up on Sunday or read the Bible day to day. No, there's a lot to it that also is totally relying upon us, and, um, and it's, it's just good and healthy in Bible. So anyway, you're holding on to a, a rope. <clears throat> you can see the vision up top. But the Bible saying here basically is people, when they can no longer see the goal or the vision, often they'll let go. And you, you begin to veer and get distracted and get derailed in life. And a lot of our, we call them wilderness seasons, where just you let go of restraint. We create our own wilderness seasons. Well, the Lord's just teaching me things. He's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I told you clearly up front and along the way, I, I made things obscure to test you. I sifted you and you let go. And that's why I'll go, I was going to save it later, but listen to the second part of this verse. People, nobody knows the second half of this verse. Where there is no revelation, the people cast off restraint, but happy is he who keeps the law. You need the entire verse. Nobody knows that. Everybody cherry picks. People perish without vision. True, but the, basically what the Bible is saying here in this verse in context is, hey, yeah, people need prophetic vision. Give it to them. But you know who's really happy? Those that don't, they keep the law, which is the word of God. It's Jesus. They just do what he told them to do. Give them prophetic vision along the way. Glad to have it. That's, that's a luxury. But if you take it, happy is me because I keep the law. I don't come off of it. I know what he told me. I know he hasn't spoken a long, long time, but he doesn't need to. I have him. It's not even about the vision. It's about he who spoke the vision. So big difference here. And so, you know, I want us to hear both because they're absolutely both God, but I think sometimes we don't catch the other half. Hence, nobody knows the second half of this verse. Nobody will ever quote it to you. They don't know it's there. But the balance really is, is saying, yeah, people cast off restraint, but get, you know who's really happy? People who keep the law. Which New Testament translation is the word of God, and he is the word. It's Jesus, and it's really good.